Can I run a moustache for World Cup presentations? <laughs> the 2017 Men's Downhill World Cup was all thriller, no filler, with it actually being decided on the very last race run of the very last World Cup. Once again, it was Aaron Gwynn who came out on top. That's three World Cup overall wins in three years. Can anyone stop him this year? Here's who to watch out for. Well, let's start then with the defending champion, that man, Aaron Gwynn. The 30-year-old American is a man who never seems to know when he was beaten. Ding-dong battle all last year with Greg Menard, and then it looked like it was over for Aaron in Lenzerheide when he got a flat rear tyre. No points from that race, but he dug in deep and he won the qualifiers and the finals at the last two World Cups to snatch that title away from Greg Menard. Oh, and Greg, you might want to watch out. He's only two wins off your all-time record now of 21 World Cup wins, and he's going to be gunning for you in 2018. That said, though, pushing Greg Menard into a corner is a very dangerous thing to do. The tall South African thrives on pressure, and when everything is stacked against him and you think Menard is finished, he bounces back better than ever. Come Labresse in August, Minard will definitely be a contender. New bike, new team, and a second ever World Cup win. 2017 was a stellar season for Australian Troy Brosnan. It saw him finish runner-up in the overall World Cup. You get the feeling that with his consistency, if he can find a few more tents, steal away a couple more wins, then this man will be very hard to beat this year. Things couldn't have got off to a much worse start for Louis Bruni in his home race. He had a disaster like most of the top ten. Things then got worse for him. He picked up an injury in Leergang, but the charismatic Frenchman was back for the World Championships in Cairns, Australia. He put a difficult World Cup season behind him to land the biggest title in mountain biking for the second time. In 2018, he has got the weight of those rainbow stripes, but it's the second time he's had them, and Bruni is more than equipped to deal with the challenge. The last of my five is a man who will definitely be making his presence felt in his first year in the elite ranks. It's last year's Junior World Cup overall winner, Finn Arles. That's a title he took with two rounds to go. He was in a class of his own. Now, we've only picked five there, and of course, there are so, so many riders that you could watch out for this year. Danny Hart is on a new team. Jack Moyer is on those big wheels again. Loris Vergier has come close to winning a World Cup on so many occasions. Well, trying to predict the winner of this year's World Cup is virtually impossible. One thing I can predict, though, is the racing will be as fast and furious as it's ever been. Don't miss the 2018 Mercedes-Benz UCI Downhill Mountain Bike World Cup. <laughs>